All Denison Music Department programs are made possible with support from the Denison Community Schools and the Denison Music Boosters. To become a Music Booster member, visit the website below. DHS Band Holiday Concert. It's been a strange year, but we're proud of the work our students and staff have done so far to help keep instrumental music going strong at Denison High School. We hope you enjoy this year's virtual concert. We filmed all the pieces you see and hear much like a live concert. Each group only got one run at each piece, and we didn't edit anything out. So you will hear mistakes, and listening to a recording is just not the same as seeing a musical ensemble live but we're glad we are able to offer any sort of performance for the community this holiday season. The first piece you heard was Mrs. Reiner and the 910 Concert Band. Throughout our virtual concert, you will also hear projects from the Music Theory 1 class. They were assigned to arrange a Christmas carol for an instrumental group and then perform it in an ensemble for this concert. You'll recognize all the melodies, but some of the harmonies may be a little different from what you're used to. The students were given some freedom to add their own little flavor to each tune.
here we've gone through audition processes for two different honor bands here at Denison High School. The first was the Iowa All-State Band. Those auditions were done virtually back in October, and Denison High School had two people selected for the 2020 Iowa All-State Band. They were James Garcia, this is his third year making the All-State Band, and Brian Ibarra, this will be his first year making the All-State Band. There was no festival, but it was nice to get some recognition for those two and the hard work that they did. We also had virtual auditions for Southwest Iowa Honor Band, and those just happened over the last week. Denison High School had 43 people try out for that group, and the following are the 29 who were accepted. had six students get accepted for their sixth year. These are seniors who have made the Southwest Iowa Honor Band every year since the seventh grade. You know, part of the fun thing about teaching music at Denison is uh, we don't just have to be teachers, we get to perform sometimes as well and it's part of the passion we have for music and music education and I get the great chance to perform with some students every Christmas we put a saxophone quartet together and go around the community and perform this year we weren't able to go around the community but we still got a quartet together and learn some tunes and we're going to give one to you right now this is the saxophone quartet of me Esteban Casellanos, Adolfo Vargas and James Garcia performing the 12 tunes of Christmas
This next piece needs a little explanation. It's going to be the combined 9 through 12 concert band performing Michael Colgrass's Old Churches. Old Churches is an aleatoric piece of music, and it uses a lot of very non-traditional ways of making sound and music to create a, more of an experience from a sound point of view. His inspiration were, as the title suggests, old churches. So as you're listening to this performance, think about huge cathedrals or maybe crumbling ruins of churches from Europe or pictures you've seen of grand cathedrals in Eastern Europe or in Russia. These were his inspirations as he wrote old churches. You'll hear different sounds. You'll hear murmuring. You'll hear some maybe monks chanting. Uh, you'll hear old bells being rung, and some of that is being done by uh, simply repeating notes, uh, running up and down on an instrument. The are even some percussionists just hitting aluminum bowls in the back of the percussion section. It's a very different piece, and it has a very ethereal quality, especially performing with as many members as we have uh, in the gym. So I hope you enjoy this very non-traditional contemporary piece, the award-winning composition by Michael Colgrass, Old Churches.
watching our virtual concert. Like we said, it's been a strange and often stressful school year for everyone, but we all just keep doing our best to continue music education in Denison. Thank you for your support, and thank you to Ms. Beckeris and Emma Ehrenholtz for running the video cameras for our recording session. Thank you also to Ms. Zettelman and Ms. Mulbauer for giving up their classroom first block on A-Days so we could still meet as a band. We hope you enjoyed this year's holiday concert and sincerely wish you and your family a safe and joyful holiday season. To end the show, here's Mr. Newell and the 1112 Concert Band performing Jubilant Flourishes. <laughs>